Yay! Did it. <laughs> so we got Mark Heckman, Nancy Frisbee, Steve Gettler, and Irma, Irma McNeil. Nancy and Irma have perfect attendance. Yay! So we've got Dennis Aw. A day with Dennis Aw. This is going to be great. At Kingsgate on Kings Highway. We got directions if you don't know how to get there. He, uh, I've seen him many times. He's it's exciting. I love watching him learn a lot of stuff. He knows. I love the styles he plays, you know. He's a master at the big bands, theater, organ, Liberace, piano, the 50s, 60s, 70s, the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. He can do anything, and he's going to do a little bit of every style. He's going to do two concerts and two workshops. Um, we're going to have a continental breakfast, a lunch, prizes, and more. Yep, don't miss a chance. And we have a lot of people, so the excitement's going to be through the roof. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. So it's only $23, and it's Tuesday, March 22nd, 10 to 5, but we're saying 9.30. And you go down Rampart to get in, not not the other way, I think. Otherwise, you have to drive around through houses. Just go through Rampart, and you go right straight, and then there's the parking lot, and then the clubhouse. Anybody been there before? Oh, good. It's going to be great. We have the sign-up right over there, and then you can pay afterwards. So anybody come for the President's Day? John Riley was here. And uh, what? It was great. We had like 70 people. We had a beginner's breakfast, and then it went right into the next event. It's a patriotic concert. Bill Regal was here, and he played some songs, which was great. I was able to like just watch for a while, and, and then I jumped on, and I played. Yep. And uh, we signed a two-year lease. Yay! So we had to ask him. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no. No. All right, I'm si excited. So, let's see. How'd it go with leaving on jet plane? <laughs> did it, did you, did your organ grumble? Okay. Well, let me see. Well, you know what? If you go down the G, I like it better down the G. The left. Now the left hand sounds like that. If it's too much. Just bring down the lower volume a little bit. Kay. That really, the instrument, the way they design the instrument, even though I'm going way down. The instruments only go so far, they won't grumble. But the chord may, the bass may be a little heavy. But if I go up to G, then the chord is very high pitched. I don't like that. I mean, I might get rid of the lower tabs. It sounds like this. <laughs> again. Should work out. Yeah. How about the other part? Did you try the soft rock one, the other people? 
All right, well, today's song, My Endless Love. I feel like I just did this. Endless Love is a song written by Lionel Richie and originally recorded as a duet between Richie and fellow R&B singer Diana Ross. In this ballad, the singers declare their endless love for one another. It was covered by R&B singer Luther Vandross with fellow R&B singer Mariah Carey. And it also by country singer Shania Twain. Shania. Richie's friend and sometimes co-worker Kenny Rogers had also recorded the song. Billboard has named the original version as the greatest song duet of all time. Hey, so what was the song that Kenny Rogers did that Lionel Richie wrote? Another one. Lady. Lady. Oh, that's a great song. I just did it yesterday with someone. They brought in their Kenny Rogers book, and they opened it up. I was like, all oh, right, I know, I know that one. I'm ready. The other one, I had to do this, you know, phone thing. Okay, Ross and Richie recorded the song for Motown, and it was used as the theme for the Franco Zeffirelli's filmed adaptation of Scott Spencer's novel, novel Endless Love. Jamie Bernstein as the character Susan sings a song during the course of the movie, produced by Richie and arranged by Gene Page. It was released as a single from the film's soundtrack in 1981. While the film Endless Love was a modest box office success, the song became the second biggest selling single of the year. First was Betty Davis Eyes by Kim, Kim Carnes in the United States and reached number one on the Hot 100 where it stayed for nine weeks from August 15th to October 10th, 1981. It also topped the Billboard R&B chart and the Adult Contemporary chart and reached number seven in the United Kingdom. It also became the most successful duet of the rock era, surpassing the Everly Brothers' 1957 hit Wake Up Little Susie, which spent four weeks at number one. Both songs spent six weeks on the chart, six months on the chart with Endless Love, eclipsing the Everly's hit by one week. So there's the lineup. Lionel Richie, Diana Ross. Oh, look, Sonny Burke played the Fender Rhodes electric piano. Got acoustic piano, electric guitar, acoustic guitar solo, guitar, bass guitar, drums, horn, rhythm, string arrangements, and concert master. <laughs> I like that. So we've got G7 suspended and C7 suspended. Okay, so on the first page The second line, first chord, play that G as a G suspended. G, uh, the first, sec first chord of the second line, G, C, D, G, G suspended. And I like making, um, I'm not making it the G suspended, just making it a regular, not a G suspended seventh, just a regular G suspended, which is C, D, G. On the uh, second measure, it goes D, E, E. I like to make that E, the first E that says that's a G note. It sounds better. Just like on the last line. It goes D, 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 G, E. 
we were singing it, maybe not, but when we're playing it, it sounds better. Then on the fourth line, we'll make that G chord a G suspended. So then on the fourth, that same line, the last line of the first page, the last measure, right by the rat, right before, a little bit before that quarter rest, you're going to hit the fill. Then before the C note, you're going to hit a G chord, G chord. Now I think, um, and we're going to change a preset there too, but I guess I'll wait on that. I think Love Ballad is the best rhythm for this song, so if you and everybody has it here, so we're gonna I'm gonna give you the presets for that soon. Well anyway, well the next the next uh, page I played it a while and I was like, what is there's like there's a a bass player that descends a lot. He comes down and it really makes it. And that's the key. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to do first off on the second page first line second measure above the tied A with nothing in it. You're going to put a G 7th. G as in guy. FG. Then you're going to cross out the G because we just did it. G chord. Then the last chord, the G chord above the G note, cross that out and make it a B minor. B as in boy. All, yeah, above all. B minor. B, D and B. B minor. <coughs> Second line. First measure. In between the C note and the B note, you're going to put a G chord. First measure. G, as in guy. Yeah, the A minor, we just did the A minor, and then you do a G. Right between the C and B. Yeah, right between the C and B. Now, if you look, it's descending. If you go back to the first line, last measure, they hit a C, then there's a B, then there's an A, and then there's a G, and then there's an F. It's descending b down. The chords are causing that. Just the, the first, second page, first line, last measure. See, there's a C chord. Then I made a B minor. And then the next line is an A minor. And then there's I just put a G in. What happens in the song, and when I play it, you'll hear it hopefully, It's just going down, and we're making it with chords. I thought that was awesome. Then, st we're still on the second line, third measure. Above the tied A with nothing in it, well, it's black, G seventh. Then cross out 
the G chord, the last chord of that line, and make it a C chord. And then cross out the first chord of the third line, because we just did it. Then on the uh, right, the the there's a tied G on the f the between the first and second ending of that third line. Above that tied G, you're going to put the C seventh suspended on the third line, middle right in the middle, C seventh suspended. That makes this thing, this like, this cool sound. C, F, G, B flat. C suspended, but with the C seventh with an F and G in the middle of it. C suspended seventh. Then on the fourth line above the the A with nothing in it, what goes there? G seventh. There it is again. The G seventh goes above. No, after it on the fourth line. Fourth line. Right above the first A with nothing in it. It's black. Has a tie on it. Put a G seventh. This is an A with nothing in it. So you put a G seventh there, and then cross out the G chord that's next to it because we just did it. Good. I got a question. In between, in that first ending, in between the C chord and the A minor, what chord goes in there? B, B minor. We're going to descend again. B minor goes above the second E where it says care. B minor, B as in boy. Now yeah, they tried to trick us on the, the last chord. What does it say above the G? Yeah, cross out that E minor, regular G. We just want G. We're descending down. Is that just G? So on the next page, where it says G and E minor, which one should we do there? No, leave the E minor this time because we're going down. F, E, D. So anyway, the moral of the story is on the first page 212, second measure above that B, make sure it's an E minor, not a G. Get rid of the G. E minor. Now this, it goes, my endless love. There has to be some kind of <gasps> stop, kind of, and that's what the G7 suspended causes. On the second line, first chord, they have an F. That should be the G7 suspended. And that, it causes the, my endless love. I was excited when I figured it out. I was like, I got it. Can't wait to show them. C 
CDFG. Now they have CCAC notes. I don't know about the. I just do four C's. I don't go down to an A. I put my endless love C C C C four C's instead of the A. I make it a C. Everywhere else they do that. I don't know why they did it there. My endless love. I mean, maybe they. S but I just do my endless love. Okay. In the second ending, what chords are missing? B minor, where do we put it? The second E, where it says me. B as in boy, B minor. Then what? What's in between A and F? A G. So a G chord goes right, I actually wrote it right before the D note where it says O, G chord. Or on top of it, you know, just in that area, but. Oh yeah, you still do the A minor, you gotta have the A minor. This is a classic thing, just like Piano Man. Piano Man descended down the bass line. The same, they did it again right here. So, if we're descending down on the last line, first chord, which one should it be? It, it get rid of the G and make it an E minor because we're descending down. E minor wins. He's like, <laughs> you ever see that in music they have a different chord on top usually it's the better one most of the time sometimes it's like it's a trick it's like no they save the money there we'll throw a wrong one in there too now in the uh the last chord of that line second to page 212 last measure what should that chord be G7 suspended, my endless love. G7 suspended rather than F. I was like, this ain't working, this F chord. That's what's neat about once you start doing the suspended and you get used to it, you your ear can identify it. I mean, listen to this. Did you ever hear that before? It's no question. What do you think that is? What kind of chord is that? The extra sc scary chord. What is that? It's the, that's the diminished chord. It's, it's no question. Well, suspend is the same thing. It needs to be resolved kind of thing. I'll get back to you guys on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was like looking, I guess. So I'm going to play that chord one day and they're going to go, diminished chord. And we're like, yes. Dun, dun, dun. All right, anyway, so we're then on, uh, I wrote on page 213, at on the second measure, the tied C above it, where before it says O, I put altar style. Put on the altar style there. Ooh, I missed a chord.
in the coda, we're going to put, instead of the G chord, we're going to make that a B minor. We're going to put a G chord above the little quarter rest before it says O. Above the G, right before the G note. So it's the second measure of the coda. G chord above the quarter rest. Then the next two lines, all the G chords should be E minors. That they have the little ones on top, they all should be E minors. Either one. Seventh's fine if you want to do it. Because they're going back and forth between F, E minor, F, E minor, F, E minor. And then it's not even. Oh, it's still going. On the third line, either one, E minor, E minor seventh, it's, I don't know, maybe, now on the, uh, how do you make an E minor seventh, D, E, G, yeah, now there's something missing on the last line. G7 suspended, my endless love, right above the quarter rest in the very beginning. G7 suspended, my endless, G, G, the G. G. Anytime there's the my endless love, there should be a G7 suspended before it, G. And then I've got a special ending. In between the F chord and the C chord, you're going to put three chords. So make sure you put them nice and evenly in there. Right after the F is an E minor. Then next to that is the D minor. That should be right on the top of the peak of the tie. And then after that is a G seventh suspended before the C. And then right up below the G7 suspended, you're going to write three C's in there, three notes. That's, again, the my endless love. You're doing it again. Just put three C's so you go C, 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 C. Now, I think just love ballad is the one. I mean, it's the one that really is going to recently, just like meditation, I've been using Love Ballad. You know, I never used to use Love Ballad. The timing was so weird for me. I don't know why, but now it's <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's great. So a little quick could work, but I've got the settings for Love Ballad. Here we go. On the very beginning of the song, we're going to, because they're singing back and forth, what we're going to do is, in the beginning, we're going to do seven lower. In the very beginning of the song, seven lower. That's the sax. It's a Kenny G sax. Sounds, it'll be like Lionel Richie's voice. On the third line, you're going to do, in the very beginning, that's when she, when Diana Ross comes in. That's going to be one lower, but up an octave, because that's to be high-pitched, right there on the 
the top end of the lower keyboard. Just sounds better. Third line, my first love, one lower, up an octave. And if you're not used to, you just do it. You just get used to playing on those top end. The next thing is on the right on the edge, on the very end where we put the G chord of the last line. And before when before you hit and I before you hit that note C, you're going to preset four upper. And then it's going to be a lot more exciting. You'll see it starts, the excitement. Yeah, and that's, and then when you repeat back, you do the same two settings again. All right, let's see. Love ballad. Well, love ballad. If you listen to love ballad, and then if you listen to uh, soft gospel, very similar. Isn't that amazing? Wow, he showed me. Love ballad. Soft gospel. But the problem is soft gospel doesn't have good presets. It's all organy. Love Ballad has great presets. Setups. Love Ballad. Play, here we go. Oh, but either one if you really want to work at it. But if you do Love Ballad, I made a little picture of what the edit style should look like. Lock accompaniment is important. So, love ballad, seven, one, four, seven on first, turn off harmony and lock harmony. No drum variation. Okay, so what we're going to do, <laughs> i got to remember, <laughs> I'm going to put on love ballad, I'm going to go up to about 80. Down to B flat. Put on preset seven. Seven lower on first. Turn off harmony. And lock harmony. Well, it's I wrote I wrote a I revised it a little bit. For some reason, I'm saying, put on Love Ballad, put on Preset 7, and I'm going to lock, I'm going to turn off the harmony. It's, there's upper harmony. I'm going to turn off the upper harmony and then lock the harmony. Must be a reason when some, something I go to, I don't want it coming on. I'm going to lock the harmony. Now, some some instruments they're over on the left all together. Some are in the screen. When you hit one button, it says locks. Some harmony is over here in the harmony section. There's a little lock on it. So we're just gonna get lock to harmony. And then what I'm gonna do is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch the top of the screen and edit the style. And I'm gonna where it says love ballad edit style in the booklet. I'm going to make this, that. So it says in the screen right now, EL Piano, which is fine. It's the second one, the Orc one, I guess, got to change. There's only one way to do it is you got to press where it says guitar, and you got to scroll. So I hit the guitar, and in, in the screen it turns blue, and I scroll up till I get to Piano 9-Foot Grand. 
No any no other way around it. I'm in L's M N O. A lot of organs making it through them. Right, almost there. There we go. Okay, I did it. Now I'm going to lock the accompaniment so I, I don't lose that. Lock accompaniment. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Second page, top line.
<laughs> Did I? G sevens? Okay. I guess I did. My G's were G7s. Did you hear the descending, like how where you hit it? The little off time kind of things. Oh, let's see. Two eleven. That's the Del Segno. Oh, it says DS. Look at that. So in the words, it says DS. That's funny. Yeah, so the way it works is you play the first page, second page into the first ending on 212 and hit the repeat mark. Then you go back to the beginning and you play the second page, but then you go to the second ending. Two, DS Alcoda. Then you return to the sign on page 211. Del Segno. See that? The little s fancy S? Oh, no. Let's see. Yeah, yours is gone. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, where do I go? Okay. I think 80 was, now it's too fast for some reason. I'm going to go to... S I don't know why. Now I'm feeling... Well, just because you're learning, maybe 76. everything locked. I could do two lower. Flugelhorn.
That F chord needs to be above that A note. Oh, no. In the coda, third measure, the F chord is late. It needs to be above the A. It doesn't, it doesn't match. All right. Coda. <laughs> tried to D minor seven. So let's see. Yeah. Uh lock, turn off the locks. Okay, let's see. Well, what would happen if I left the lock off? I don't know why I don't know why I was locking the accompaniment, but all right, so the next one could be soft gospel. Only thing, again, the presets, unless you have a normal end vintage button, you can always go in normal. So let's see, soft gospel. We got a, a flute horn. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a f Oh, there's a flute on 5 lower. We got a flugelhorn. And then The rest are organs. Wow. Well, anyway, so let's say I put on soft gospel. I'm going to edit the style for orc 2. Instead of acoustic guitar, I'm going to make that piano nine foot grand. Both rhythms, that's the person that's doing that same thing, whatever arpeggio thing. All right, and then I'm going to lock the accompaniment. Where? Oh, Genie. Thanks. Genie needs to be off, the top one. Thanks, I missed it. <laughs> And then stuff. Oh, I said to use bank D, but let me just try to use these presets. I'm going to try zero lower, five lower, and then four upper. About 76.
like the background to switch to had four better four. And then the other one is soliloquy. But I didn't get it. I think Love Ballad wins. Love Ballad. But all of them have that do 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 thing going on. If we listen to it. It's like some kind of arpeggio. Okay, let's see. So I got Love Ballad. I put on the 7. I'm down the B flat. Go up to 76 or to 80. Lock the accompaniment. Because I'm have to go into edit style. I got to make that guitar an Orc 1 piano. You don't have to, but if you did, it's better. The reason I got to do it this way is because I'm doing just one sound. I need to leave the rest alone. <laughs> and the lock accompaniment holds that. Because if I change a preset, I would have lost it. It would have been gone. <laughs> now you have an option. In the beginning of the song, you either use seven lower or two lower. Seven lower. Two lower. And then one lower. After that tie G with the C7 suspended, before the low C, hit a fill.
must have a problem with that coda, those notes there. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> yes. Bank D, because uh, Bank D, I used the the better. Sp okay, not in this organ. Bank D usually strings and stuff. I can use that instead because soft gospel presets aren't that great. So bank D. Let me just reset this so you can see. Okay, <sighs> bank D. So I can use always bank D for some of those if I didn't for the like there's a flute. Oboe, some strings. Yeah, Bank D. Hi. Did you enjoy it? Hope you liked it. Hope Thank you, you Carrie. It. You're welcome. Yeah. Any questions? No? It's going to be great. Hope you liked it. It was good. Have a great day. You too. Thank <laughs> you.